So I'm trying to send these phones that basically I had for my big giveaway. So I've got two phones. One of them is going to Denmark. The other one is going to New Zealand. The problem is, number one, finding a place that will help me send them because they've got batteries inside and that is a bit of a problem. Number two, I have to buy the packaging material myself and package them up so they don't get damaged. So let's go try find out where we can get some packaging material first. Oh, didn't have to go very far, did we? This looks like the place. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm going to get some boxes. I'm also going to get some bubble wrap because, you know, these things get tossed around like you won't believe. So I don't want it to end up on the other side in bits. So, um, I'm just getting one that's the right size. I'm also going to buy bubble wrap, like I said, and some packaging tape. And hopefully, oh, very good. Got two boxes. Yeah. Oh, I have this one. This one, how do you say? A bag. A bag. Let's see. Hmm. It's bigger. This one. Oh. It's probably a bit too much, isn't it? But whatever. How much money do you have? Ten. So the lot of that's going to end up costing me ten RMB, which is probably about two US dollars plus minus. There we go. It's a tenner. Is it? Always carrying too much stuff. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> now that I've got the packaging material, I'm going to go to one of these couriers over here and ask them. How much it's going to cost to send? I'm guessing it's going to cost around about 200 RMB per phone. Hmm. Let's go and speak to another courier. Yeah. Anyhow, Xin wen xia, ru guo yao fa yi ge shou ji dao dan mai. Dan mai. Dai. Ke fa ke fa shou ji na. Dan mai shou ji na. 这是一个刚刚买的，在这边买的手机，中国品牌。这个那个好像一个钥呃钥匙的那个。老马牌子的。对对。B M W。是发个朋友给他，是一个礼物。嗯，我帮你看一下是最近有没有人发过。好、哦，好，如果有人发过，我可以帮你发；如果没有发过，我发发发不了。好，明白。嗯，好，先拿着。嗯，好了。So what he's going to do is he's going to see if anyone has recently sent anything to Denmark, and he says if someone has, then he's going to go ahead and do it. This is probably the hardest one because New Zealand doesn't seem to be as much of a problem as Denmark. Can you? Can you? Yeah. Can you? Yeah. Okay. How much? I'll see. How much? How much? I'll see. 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 一百八十。一百八十啊。对。OK， hundred and eighty seems reasonable。嗯，好了，我也有一个手机要发到新西兰。新西兰。对。可以，新西兰可以。新西兰可以啊，好。所以我先，我先包好，是不是？好。OK， cool。So I'm just making sure that this is very well packed because I've had bad experiences in the past where I sent a computer to a friend. And I thought I'd packed it well. I had bubble wrap and everything, but it it got destroyed. Like literally, the motherboard got cracked. The hard drives got ripped out of their brackets, even though they were screwed in. Because you know, logistics around here can be pretty rough. So I'm, as you can see, really packing this thing full of bubble wrap to make sure that it doesn't get damaged. And um, 
I'm just hoping that there's no issue with the um, customs or anything like that because I, I've got to be honest with you, I absolutely hate sending anything from China because you never know if it's going to actually end up on the other side. I've had a couple of prizes that I've sent to my subscribers which have just never arrived. And it's either the China Customs puts a stop to it or whichever country it's being sent to puts a stop to it. Something to do with batteries. And if it's not something to do with batteries, it's something to do with, I don't know, something else like maybe not paying a bribe or whatever, I don't know. But, okay. I reckon that one's pretty solid. Here's our package for Denmark. Now I just gotta do another one for New Zealand. All right, here's our New Zealand package for our second round. This is the Oppo, by the way. The Denmark phone is the little BMW key fob. So now I've just got to go through the arduous task of trying to actually write down the addresses. I have to look them up and stuff, and I'll get back to you when that's all done. Hello? How memo, memo. Okay, so the first thing I've got to do is fill in the guy who it's being sent to. Let me find his, um, his message. Yes, this is for Henrik. So let's get him in there. Oh, hang on. Almost got that wrong. That's not his actual surname. That's just his Instagram name. Uh, okay, all the details have been entered in. Um, they've got a printer hidden somewhere on the floor there. Oh, I'm going to grab it. Hello? So what's going to happen now is... Well, I'm going to attach all this stuff. Through the magic of Chinese logistics, it's somehow going to end up on these carts that you see all over the place here going to be taken off to somewhere, thrown around like a football or rugby ball, end up on a ship or a plane or I don't know what, and it's going to go all the way across the globe and hopefully arrive safely at its destination. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that, get a little bit of an insight into how shipping and things happen here in China. Total cost was 180 RMB to send to Denmark. Uh, sorry, Denmark. Okay, according to him, it's also going to cost around about 180 to go to New Zealand. So, total about 400 RMB. It's not as bad as I was expecting, so that's a win. I hope you guys enjoy your prizes, and just like the prize winners and Chinese logistics. Until next time. Stay